just off I-90 near Cataldo, Idaho, sits Whiteman Lumber Company. It's the oldest still running lumber mill in Idaho. Since 1928, the mill has provided lumber products to home and commercial builders. Then in 2009, we burned down completely. And uh, I tell people that's the best thing that ever happened to this mill. Because uh, that old mill was such a, such a junk heap. And now this mill, I tell people, is good for another two or three generations, you know, after I'm done with it. Owner Brad Corkle sees a solid future for the sawmill because of what they produce. Custom orders of beams, rafters, mantles, stair treads, bridge decking, mining timbers, anything that requires special sizing. You see, we can take any diameter log here, and the, um, the bigger mills, the commodity mills around here, can only go up to 26 inches. So we get the oversized logs, and, and it works out quite well for us. Every, every log that goes to that carriage is for a product that I've already sold. And that's kind of the reverse psychology of sawmilling. The, most mills, like Idaho Forest Group, Potlatch, what have you, you know, they set up and they run a particular species all day long or all week long. And the machinery, the computers, break it down, optimize it, get as much out of that log as they can. And then the production manager takes his list of what he produced to the sales department and says, sell this. And I do it just the opposite. Wood is still the preferred source for builders because... Uh, Clydesdale Frames in Kansas is our, is our best customer. And he tells a story about how he put up a frame in Texas. And a tornado came through. And the only thing left standing in the area was that timber frame. <laughs> 25 years ago, Idaho's five northern counties was home to 25 lumber mills. Today, 12 remain, and Corkle sees his specialized milling operation as a profitable business for the next three generations. It's got another two or three generations in it if somebody wants to do it. And it's, you know, we make a product that people want, and we're not subject to the fluctuations of the commodity market. So, it's, you know, it's, it's a good life. It's a good way to live. For the Voice of Idaho Agriculture, I'm Steve Ritter.